Hi everyone. Vanilla ice cream that puzzles General Motors. An interesting story. Never underestimate your client's complaint. No matter how funny it might seem. This is a real story that happened between the customer of General Motors and its customer care executive. A complaint was received by the Pontiac division of General Motors. This is the second time I have written to you and I don't blame you for not answering me because I sounded greasy. But it is a fact that we have a tradition in our family of ice cream for dessert after dinner each night. But the kind of ice cream varies so every night. After we have eaten, the whole family owns the whole family votes on which kind of ice cream we should have and I drive down to the store to get it. It is also a fact that I recently purchased new Pontiac and since then my trips to the store have created a problem. You see, every time I buy a vanilla ice cream, when I start back from the store, my car won't start. If I get any other kind of ice cream, the car starts just fine. I want you to know I am serious about this question. I am serious about the question. No matter how silly it sounds, what is there about the Pontiac that makes it not start when I get vanilla ice cream? And easy to start whenever I get any other kind. The Pontiac president was understandably skeptical about the letter but sent an engineer to check it out anyway. The letter was surprised to be created by a successful, obviously well-educated man in a fine neighborhood. He had arranged to meet the man just after the dinner time. So the two hooped into the car and drove to the ice cream store. It was vanilla ice cream that night and sure enough, after they came back to the car, it won't start. It won't start, no? The engineer returned for three more nights. The first night they got chocolate, the car started. The second night they got strawberry flavored, the car started. The third night he ordered vanilla, the car failed to start. Now the engineer being a logical man refused to believe that this is this man's car was allergic to vanilla ice cream. <laughs> he arranged therefore to continue his visit for as long as it took to solve the problem. And toward this end, he began to take notes. He jotted down all sort of data, time of day, time of gas uses, time to drive back and forth etc. In the short time he had a clue. The man took less time to buy vanilla than any other flavor. Why? The answer was in a layout of the store. Vanilla being the most popular flavor was in a separate case at the front of the store for quick pickup. All other flavors were kept in the back of the store at a different counter where it took considerably, considerably longer to check out the flavor. Now, the question for the engineer was why the car would not start when it took less time. Reka, time was now the problem, not the vanilla ice cream. In the engineer quickly came up, the engineer quickly came up with the answer, vapor lock. It was happening every night, but the extra time taken to get the other flavor allowed the engine to cool down sufficiently to start. When the man got vanilla, when the man got vanilla, the engine was still too hot for the vapor lock to dissipate. Even greasy looking problems are sometimes real and all problems seem to be simple only when we find the solution with cool thinking. Don't just say it is impossible without putting a sincere effort. What really matters is your attitude and your perception. The moral of the story, try to fix the bug instead of making it as a known issue. Try to fix the bug instead of making it as a known issue. I am Panminakshi. Thank you for watching.